And we're back with some more RimWorld. And today the first thing we're dealing with is a siege. They're trying to set up outside our base, though I don't know what the hell that is. That's a, a weird setup of sandbags. And the first thing we're going to try and do is hit them with mortar shells. Oh, completely missed on those ones. But never mind, there'll be more along shortly. Round two. Let's see how their luck is going. Uh, yeah, we got one of them, and they're now assaulting the colony. Exit. We'll just have everyone pack up then. There's no point uh, keeping people on this. We can we can let them go back to work. And have you loaded that up? Yep. Yeah, perfect. Those two are both loaded. And they're exactly as anticipated. They're coming through here, and they should go straight into the kill box. Hmm. Do we want to actually cook them, or do we want to just kill them? I think we just want to kill them, to be honest. We, we don't really need any more prisoners right now. We can't even support what we've already got. I think we'll just line up and then uh, gun them down as normal. While we're waiting for them to get to the kill box, we've decided to do something a little bit despicable. And that's uh, hopefully to make our lives a little bit easier. Yeah, right about... Uh, there should be fine. There we go. That should drive them all berserk. I'm hoping some of those people with the shield belts will uh, happily murder each other. And is there any more... Well, not the shield belts, the... Uh... Ah, where is it? Yep, yeah, those low shields that they've got on them. I prefer if those load shield packs were expended before they got close to us. And while we're at that, I think we can do a second vertigo pulse. Ooh, yeah, right there, I think should do. Yep, that should do just fine. Or tech, you can go back to doing whatever you're doing. Probably going to sleep. We'll, we'll get the rest of the crew in here and we'll line up for a kill box. Before this kicks off, I would like to point out that despite being a pacifist, yeah, that's that's 12 corpses you've left behind, Artek. Good job. What a pacifist, all right. Uh, we're not even taking our entire team here. I think this is just... Jesus. That person took a hell of a... Ah, uh, go juice. Hell of a drug. All right, we've got Rachel down here. Rachel's going to equip some EMP grenades. Their job is to stand over here and throw some EMP grenades in here. Just to make sure if there's any shield belts that show up. Yeah, those shield belts are... Uh, was it? Low shield packs? The low shield pack should hopefully get detonated or crippled. Well, that was relatively painless. It turns out just having large amounts of firepower in a really good kill box is, is a good way to get things done. Uh, you put those EMP grenades back in the shelf, don't need them degrading anymore. Yeah, some of them might actually make it out of your life. Um, did they? Almost. Come on, Braz. You can. No, no. They didn't make it out of their life. Pity. I will have to repair that door, though. That's kind of an annoyance. I'll just clean up this mess and we'll get ready for the next raid. We've got a couple of tribal raids coming in shortly. We want to make sure this is all good to go for them. Our animals do most of the hauling of the corpses. Well, our people aren't allowed in there, and that's most of it cleaned up. All the doors are replaced. We've closed and opened what needs opening, and we fixed all these doors so they're all closed again. I think we're set to go for the next round. Uh, maybe grab all of this stuff while we're here. Would prefer to have all of that food in storage where it could do us some good. Oh, and grab the components while you're there. Oh, mortar shells. We, we, we used four, we gained six. That's excellent. The raid just actually replenished our mortar shell supplies. All right, uh, next up. Get back to finishing this off. We don't have enough granite yet, though, but we're, we're getting there. We're slowly smashing it up. We've got... Ooh, we've got a few there. We've got, yeah, 29 chunks. That should be enough to just about finish this off. And if we check on the overhead... Yeah, we have more than enough granite chunks left on the map. Soon, though, soon we will be drilling underground for them. Things are going ahead quite nicely. We have how much of this left? We have 917 of 1034 done. Oh, Psychic Soothe Mail. Excellent. Though, we do have three new recruits we have to sort out. I've been kind of leaving... Oh, and we're in the middle of a heat wave. What's it like outside? 46 degrees. Um, yeah, I should probably take care of that. Also, we did capture two new prisoners during that raid. We got Seymour over here and... Yeah, they're... they're they lost a leg, unfortunately, during the capturing process, and Liddell here lost a pinky toe. But you know what? It's fine, it's fine. When we recruit them, they'll probably be okay. Our first recruit of the day is a teetotaler cannibal, which, yep, that just sounds perfect. Please welcome Andrew Johnson to the team. Now, it's been pointed out to me that the sheer quantity of pawns we're going to have to hire is going to take up way too much screen time. For example, if we spent just 10 seconds on every single pawn, it would take more than an hour to recruit them all in terms of just screen time. So we're going to keep everything at about 9 seconds per pawn. So, Andrew Johnson here, teetotaler, cannibal. Uh, we're going to go with crafting and intellectual for you. In fact, research, science, craft it is. Next up, we have Mubel. Mubel? Mubel? 
Okay, they're a great memory and ugly. Their great memory means they're going straight into crafting. If someone has a double passion and they've got great memory, or even a single passion and craft and great memory for crafting, yeah, they go straight into it. They're going to be crafting primarily animals in the secondary. For our 50th pawn, we have Petro Massimo Pincinali. They have chemical interest and kind. Uh, they're basically going straight into cleaning and hauling. All they can do is doctoring, so yeah, doctor with uh, a side in cleaning and hauling. However, the best thing is they have frostbite scar, right leg scar, and their eye is missing. Yeah, they, they were in the prison for a while there. This unfortunately has reduced their consciousness due to all the pain and made them, well, pretty sucky at pretty much everything. We might be better off just removing their legs to get rid of that pain because they're going to have a constant minus 10 because of it. Yeah, good times. Good times indeed. And to think that's our 50th pawn. Yeah, that, that's not a good sign to come. Also, now that we've hit 50 pawns, Randy's going to stop being nice to us. Well, once you go to 51, supposedly the chances of pawns dying on being downed goes up. Well, we'll have to find out what happens. Well, while this was ongoing, we've got a disease, a flu. Uh, it, it's on pseudonym. It turns out Randy just hates pseudonym today because they've got muscle parasites, cutworms, and the flu. That's right, they've tripled down. That's, um, well, I suppose better pseudonym than everyone. I suppose that sickly thing, it just makes them a magnet for every single type of sickness. Maybe keeping one of these around as a magnet is good, because none of our other people have gotten anything recently. Maybe they're just getting all the ones that should have got the whole team. Anyway, where were we? Yes, we were going to finish this off. We're so close to being done. I, I haven't let the walls finish, because if I do, then we'll won't be able to get in. I really wish I hadn't let the walls finish this side. They have to go all the way around now, and it's actually slowing progress. Some of the prisoners have decided today is a good day to make a prison break. Uh, we have decided that today is a good day to maul them really badly with a bunch of animals and then shoot a whole load of them. Yeah, we're not gonna mess around here. Just shoot them all. Yeah, okay, minigun might be a bit much, but, uh, you know, I appreciate the hustle, guys. Whoa, where did that one come from? Uh, oh, they came out of that prison. Alright, so a couple of them actually managed to, to break out. Seymour, seriously? You have been in bed for so goddamn long, and you finally get up and decide you're mobile or this time? Muffet. Eh, fine. Everyone back to work. I'm sure some of you will rescue some of the downed ones. There we go. And we'll send the animals back. Well, that's going to be a whole bunch of lost legs, limbs, eyes, fingers, and toes, but it's fine. It's fine. We've almost got this completed. In fact, oh, all the tiles are down. In that case, just uh, allow everything. In fact, let's allow the whole lot. While we're waiting for this to be built, I'll just have a, a quick go over this new mod I'm using. This mod is called Colony Groups, and what you can do is you can make yourself little groups. For example, this here is the whole colony. This here is just the casters. So we've got Alex in here and Ortec. In fact, it'll make it a little bit bigger so we can come down here and grab the ones we want. This just makes it really handy to do some things like, oh, just say we want to cast a word of trust on someone. We can see, oh, You've actually almost got a full bar, you have not. So we can go, sp I've basically made one group that's just for the casters who have word of trust, one group that's just for our pyromaniacs. It just allows you to separate things out into groups, which will make things much handier. At some point, we'll have a mining group who go out and go mine nodes and things like that. There's a whole bunch of other stuff you could supposedly do with this, but this is all I really want it for. And murderous rage from Tanya. Great. Is that a new one? I think that's a new pawn. We managed to take care of that murderous rage by arresting them and dragging them really far away. In the meantime, we had a little bit of a social fight over here. But, hey, still going? Oh, seriously? Okay, I'm gonna have to arrest one of you, aren't I? Actually, wait, the two people who were fighting are from the Empire. You know what? Let him, let him go at it. Dear Lord, did she put a sword? That's, uh, that's not really very sportsmanlike for a party fight. Anyway, what's everyone else doing? Oh, that is, that is a hell of a party. <laughs> Please get all your social interactions up. Oh my god, I just realized I haven't been using something. I just got a, a quick word of love going on and oh wow. Yeah, everyone get back to work. I, uh, I haven't been using the word of love that the ah, this pawn brought with them when they joined our team. But never mind, never mind. We're going to have this finished shortly and once that's done, I'm going to feel an awful lot better. Then we all you have to do is worry about the two raids of tribals that are coming our way. And this events. Oh, we actually have batteries now, so this could hurt us. Oh. Hey, it burnt some stuff. It doesn't matter, our people will be on that shortly. Probably. Ooh, it actually passed through the wall as well. That's impressive. Temperature 55C. You got this, guys. Good job, good job. Perfect. All right, let's finish this off. We're so close to being done. What do we got left? 11 wall tiles. It is done. We have completed it. In fact, uh, let's uh, keep those doors wide open. There's no point having those locked. If anyone wants to go for a wander in there, they totally can. Though... Why? It kind of is a piece of junk. If this gets damaged in the next 32 days, a bunch of uh, spiders or bugs will show up. We'll get a bug infestation. 
not worried. We actually want the bug infestation. It's going to be very valuable to us. So first, I think we want a freezer to hold all the corpses so we can turn their corpses into chem fuel. We can make an awful lot of chem fuel out of that. How much have we got? We got 898 chem fuel. Now, we need a lot more. All right, but first step, it's new recruits time because we've got two more new recruits. Jesus. And we're definitely going to be recruiting some more. Oh, but before we do that, Psychic Emanator. We got a Psychic Emanator from that quest. The one that... Uh, completing that monumented and we're going to put the psychic emanator right in there this is a good suggestion from the comments use it in here to boost the mood makes prisoner recruitment faster it's just we have so many pawns so spread out wouldn't really help anywhere else it's better off just giving it to the prisoners we'll wall that in so they can't damage it uh what else did they give us i think they give us a helmet and some silver you know stuff we don't really care about too much anyway new recruits please welcome pawn number 51 Grigorts blaskovich blaskovich uh pessimistic Iron Willed, which, yeah, they're going to be an artist and a crafter, I'm thinking. Their health conditions are just an old gunshot's wound to the torso. Yeah, I think they'll work out just fine. Number 52, Jonas Jalling. Building and planting, I think, is going to be their choices, but they're a teetotaler. Why do? We, why are we getting teetotalers? I don't want teetotalers. I, I would much prefer pacifists over teetotalers. Yeah, and it's not, you know, a, a drinking thing. It's just... Without drugs to moderate their mood, these are going to be so hard to keep going. Oh well, that's number 52 for us. Alright, with all of that done, I think it's time we did a little bit more expansion. Oh, actually, no, there's a quest, isn't there? We have to accept that right about now. Rewarded Warfare. Yeah, we're gonna take it. What we're doing here is we're going to grab several people and level them up with the Empire so we can turn them into Knights so we can get Aerodrone Strikes. There's a whole plan behind this, but for now, all we need to do is make sure that Zack Loveless gets this. Ah, uh, so, oh god. There's just, there's too many. There's too many already. <laughs> okay, that will have us a bunch of tribals show up. Now, considering how few tribals there is for 10 honor, I'm guessing that's going to be a, well, it's a multiple one. They're going to approach from several angles, and I'm guessing they're sappers. Hopefully they don't arrive at the same time as the royals under threat tribals arrive, because, you know, that would be a, a lot of tribals and a lot of holes in our walls. Now, let's uh, skip things forward a bit and hope these things don't... Why is there a fire? Oh, Jerick's gone on a fire starting spree. Good job, Jerick. And we're also getting rid of our old corpse pile. All right, this makes no sense to me. There's a transport pod crash. That that shouldn't happen. Um, we're on 52 pawns. They're, they're supposed to stop sending you transport pod crashes after you get to a certain size. Why? This fine will rescue them, but, you know, <laughs> if they want to join, that, that's that's okay. Anyone can join anytime they want. Oh. Speed reduced to 2.7. Yeah, you're, you're not going to get... Ooh, you're almost up to Zack. Uh, Zach, what's your shooting skill at four? Ooh, we might want to actually run you away. You're you're maybe not as good as you should be. Zach needed a little bit of help with that one. I may have gotten a little bit sloppy, but it's okay. It's just a, a torso bite from a cougar. Walk it off. Yeah, over here, we're putting in another solar brick. Exact same as this one over here. Reason being, we need more food. We need more sun lamps. Uh, where is it? We have... Oh, that's... No, grow zones. We have 17 sun lamps. Fortunately, three of them are not active, otherwise it would drain our grid. So we do want to acti actually activate those. So we're going to put in a bunch of solar, we're going to put in some wind turbines, we're going to activate those, and that will bring us up to being, to being able to confidently support 28 grow zones, which should carry us into the next part of the game. It's just we're on 52 pawns, and the more we get, we, we want to stay preemptively ahead of this. Um, as it is, I don't think we actually have enough food. If we went entirely on a vegetarian spree, we wouldn't be able to feed all our pawns at what we've currently got, which is a bad sign. Okay, we're going to fill this in, and right here beside it, we are going to put in more crops. The reason we chose this spot is, when it comes to these power bricks, they're actually one tile too wide or one tile too narrow. So what you usually end up doing is, well, sort of down here, we squeezed it one tile to the left, so it's squished in that corridor. But over here, we're going to squeeze it one tile the opposite direction, and we'll just cover this in grow lamps. There's plenty of space on the other side, so why not? Well, this is going to be an interesting test. Psychic drone high female. That's, um... That's bad. That <laughs> I'd prefer if it didn't come when we had a bunch of incoming attacks expected, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We can we can survive. Uh, where's our pyro? Are you asleep or awake or what are you doing? You're sleeping right now? Nope, nope. I'm going to need you over here, buddy. Your job is to come over here and ignite this. At the same time, we have a quest that's come in. It's Pika's Praetor Ceremony, so we can get more silence to hopefully get more people who can get word of trust so we can recruit people faster. Just uh, weigh the world. I know it's a bit explosive, but the more level ones we have, the better, and oh, you. No, you need to get out of there. We can't have you in there while this is happening, because otherwise, you know, you'll get cooked. 
Yep, that's perfect. Let's make sure that that's out of the home zone. Yeah, it's great. All right, boom. All right, let's uh, let's cook ourselves up some more styling. Ooh, a couple of minor mistakes recently. Uh, one, we put in granite barricades instead of wood ones. That's uh, not very flammable. We'll fix that. Second is we scheduled an operation for Jason uh, Fenwick, and we didn't realize that there was three people already occupying our hospital beds. We, we might want to expand that in a bit. Just we haven't had time. We're always busy. So the operation was performed on a good bed instead of an excellent bed in the dark, which dropped our due success chance to 72%. Yeah, that's, um, that's not good. However, they'll probably survive. They've got five hours left of life in them. The right eye is mangled, but that's from something else entirely. So it's just, you know, so long as they don't get any scaring out of this, they'll be probably okay. Maybe, probably. Yeah, six hours. Yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll survive just fine. This high psychic drone is going to cause us, well... A lot of problems. We got berserk, berserk prisoners, dazed, confused, dazed, hide in room. Yeah, it's uh, it's just one of those days when you get those. Well, not really much we can do. We can't afford enough hats to keep everyone sorted, and we just have to let them, or tinfoil hats. And at the same time, we just let them take whatever drugs they can, but they don't always get enough, and they usually just have some minor mental breaks. Uh, this is going along fine. Do note that uh, pawns can walk across this and manage it just fine. So even though we're going to put one door, say right here. Any pawn can walk in here from anywhere and walk all the way across it. Once they get onto the first solar panel, they can move across it just fine. Makes maintenance actually pretty handy. We were unfortunately a little bit slow about cooking our guests. They got out just before the heat stroke got serious enough to t take them out. That is a pity. Never mind, we'll clean it up and get it prepped for the next attempt. While they're taking care of that, we're going to finish off our sort. This went together super fast. How much steel do we have left? We actually kind of went through, yeah, we went through a lot of our reserves there. That's fine. Once we've got this done, we'll be sorted for quite some time. And that's another recruit. Damn it. <laughs> We're recruiting so fast right now. Actually, that's a good thing. How many is that today? For our next recruit, number 53. Please welcome Worthy Worth. Okay, just stop with the weird names, guys. They're just getting weirder now. All right, they are going to be going straight into planting plus mining. We're, well, we need planters, we need miners. However, they're an ascetic, which is so handy. We're going to definitely have to turn them into a caster and ra raise them up with the empire. We'll add them to the casters list, actually. That also reminds me, we're low on jackets. We need a whole bunch more dusters for everyone. I've queued them up, but it's just the amount of pants and shirts we're going through. We can't keep up with the supply, and dusters are kind of down the bottom after pants and shirts, so they, you know, they're not naked. But, yeah, no, we're on dusters now. We're on dusters, so hopefully everyone will get the dusters they need. One uh, downside to Worthy Worth here is they're missing a leg. But we'll get them a peg leg now. I believe the medical beds are free. Yeah, medical beds are free. Go grab one. Go grab a lie down. Next up, we have pawn number 54. This is the one that dropped out of the sky. So they're going to be going straight into mining with a secondary in animals. They're an undergrounder, they're kind, and they can't do dumb labor, unfortunately. But no health conditions, so welcome to the team, I suppose. I should have a, a quick look here. When it comes to assignments, I've just restarted the game, so it actually makes a lot more sense now. Um, when it came up to here, I wasn't sure how to sort out refine smelt and stone cut in terms of priority. So instead, I just have this where every pawn one after the other just gets a slightly higher priority in each one so that they're more likely to do that and the same with hauling and cleaning now half of them will prioritize cleaning and half of them will prioritize hauling plus it gives you that nice sort of uh, look of the numbers going in in nice patterns and it seems to be working okay so I'm, I'm not going to complain anyway with that done we're just about to finish up this over here hopefully before the tribal show up those tribals are going to show up at any moment so yeah i would really prefer to have this walled in before they get here Oh, the psychic drone is finally ending. Excellent. There was, uh, there was, let's just say, more than a few mental breaks because of that. Thankfully, most of them were minor. Uh, the prisoners, well, let's just say, the prisoners didn't do so good at all of that. A lot of them had uh, problems with that high psychic drone. And at the same time, we've called in Sonico's yeoman ceremony. And due to suggestions from the comments, we put a party spot in here. It turns out when it comes to these bestowing ceremonies, the first thing they go for is the party spot, but only when it's the yeoman ceremony. I could have given Sonico a throne in here, but that wouldn't have made a difference. They go straight to the party spot. That's what I was advised in the comments, and in testing, it seems to work that way. While they slowly cook up, we have finished our second solar brick. This is going to allow us to drastically expand food production. But we're not going to use all of it for food. We're, we're going to use some of it for beer, of course. We need a bunch of beer. I'm thinking this place here is going to be where we produce it. Well, do the, uh, the plant section of it anyway. Oh. Research-wise, I have just been hammering out, well, pretty much everything that might come in useful at some point ever, though, yeah, maybe uranium slug turrets, why not? I'm not sure we're going to use them, but might as well have the research knocked out. At some point, we can stop all the research and just get everyone focused on doing uh, mineral scanning. 
All right, uh, this. Yes, finish this off while we wait for the tribal attack. The longer it takes for the tribals to come, just the more annoying it gets. Was it rewarded warfare? Yeah, they're supposed to come in three days. That means 0.2 of a day and they're going to show up. I should maybe... Ooh. In that case, stop hunting. Everyone back inside. They're about to, they're about to hit. Uh, maybe bring the animals back inside. One moment. It is like watching a little ant hive go to work, isn't it? It's just the sheer quantity of them with all the names. We have also a lot of animals. Game hasn't slowed down too much yet, though. I do have the Rocket Man mod on standby just to try and uh, see if that'll boost it. We also have multi-threaded just in case. Alucard, I thought I told everyone to stop hunting. Go. What are you? Why are you? Okay, my bad. Just uh, go, go back to work. Get, get out of there. I don't want anyone outside the walls when this next attack is about to hit. And so it begins. The first of our three tribal raids that should be hitting all around the same time. Uh, yeah, this is a sapper group. So, yeah, you want to use sappers to tunnel around your defences. They're coming from three different directions. Over here, we've got 34, but they spawned in right beside an empire. The empire came in on their uh, royal tribute collection duties. I hope that they start fighting with them. Otherwise, they might just let them in the doors. That would be inconvenient. Over here, we have another 20 humans, a mixture of bows and close combat weaponry. And over here, we have another 20 humans, mixture of bow and close combat weaponry. My plan is, well, at, at this scale, things start to become a little, well, simplistic. So let's just select all of these. And you notice there's uh, one group is coming down here. One other group is going to go over here. We're not even going to try and kill box tactics. We're just going to line up with a bunch of guns and shoot them. Seems like a very normal thing to do. Uh, we're going to leave these for a little bit to see if those two start uh, kicking the snot out of each other. If they do, great. If they don't, we'll have to send the group that went over here to deal with them. All right, come on, come on, come on. Let's keep an eye on this. Oh, yeah. You're digging through there. What's your skill at? You're... Actually, you know what? It doesn't really matter too much. Ooh, this group is starting to get together. Oh, and I've been producing a few things on the side. Namely, jump jet packs. We produced a few just so that we could give a few key players jump jet packs. Namely, people who might, you know, end up dead. So, caster section, you'll see we've got Alex here, who's one of our better casters. Uh, Ortec, also one of our better casters. Uh, where is it? Sonic? No, there's going to be... Uh, pretty much everyone here is going to end up with a jump jet pack at some point or other. And Pika we gave a jump jet pack to because... Well, they have an awful lot of honor tied up with them. And if we they were to die, that would lose us... Well, a lot of honor, that would be bad. Uh, how are we doing down here? Okay, almost ready. Yep, 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 beautiful. Uh, how are we looking? They've broken through, have they? Nope, not quite yet. In fact, uh, let's start getting everyone lined up. Hmm. This is this is not going to be a complex defense. I'm sorry, but uh, <laughs> it's just, once you get to a certain size, I'm not sure complexity comes into it anymore. All right, you guys, start lining up there, maybe. We're, I mean... Trebos has died cause heat stroke? Oh. You were a bit slow about grabbing them out of there, weren't you, buddy? I, I left one of the, the nobles here to help drag all of them out. Oh, that one's going to die too. Doesn't matter. We rescued a few. We rescued a few. And when they leave the map, that should return us the... Uh, how much did we lose for that? No, no. Blue Empire, I don't, don't care. It seems heat stroke was natural causes around this place. Right. Let's get set up. You guys all line up there. Uh, how are we looking down here? They're still not through yet. Perfect. Uh, right, line up about there. So long as they come through one at a time, we should be able to get our people in pl plenty of good positions to shoot them down. Please tell me you're going to take left there. There you go. Not the chickens! Oh, I forgot the chickens! Damn it! Chickens are on their way back inside, and we're going to send this team over here instead. Uh... Yeah, we kind of have to. Death of the rooster. That's just... Mm. Stop. Stop shooting at my chickens. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, my God. I'm going to murder so many of you. Oh, what's happening over here? Oh. Get closer. Don't shoot our people in the back. Ah, that's one group broken. I'm looking over here. Oh... Okay, well, this is going to put even more stress on my plan. Uh, I have a plan to get our hands on some cows. Uh, come on. Get closer, people. Start shooting some of them. Draw their attention. What's happening down here? Yep, they're all dead. Death of a hen. Oh, my God. Okay, that's that was my fault. I shouldn't have let that happen. Uh, all of you, head back up this direction just in case things go wrong. Uh, you can gather up there. I don't want this team getting sandwiched. Come on, come on. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Seriously? Oh, 
Well, we're probably not going to get that door closed in time. Oh, no. We've got the door closed in time. That's fine. Quickly, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. What? Seriously? You're not even going to turn around to fight those. Uh, De Schweitzer and Pika, you two get back in here. I don't want you getting caught outside when this whole thing goes down. Yeah, damn it. This is a little bit of a mess. It's just a tiny bit of a mess, but we can sort this out. We can sort this out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Everyone, we move closer. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I think it be, we should be able to kill enough of them here to attract their attention. That's what you get for killing chickens. How does it feel? The uh, uh, rest of our team are on the way back, but they're about to drill through some walls. Uh, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. And to think, this is only the first raid. Come on, come on. Seriously, stop running away. We're trying to kill you, and you're running away from us. That's just... Oh, sad. Seriously? Quest available. Zach Yeah, we'll, we'll get around to that in a minute. The uh, rest of the team are inbound. You know what? The uh, rest of the team... I'm going to get you to all change purpose. I'm going to get you to all go in there. I think they're going to try and come in this door. And when they do, I want you to give them an incredibly warm welcome. Seriously, have you not noticed you're getting riddled in the back? Oh. Siege, Emily. <laughs> uh, brilliant. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll take care of that in a minute. <laughs> Would you guys just stand and fight? We're trying to kill you here, you know? This is just really inconvenient. And um, where are these guys going? Yeah, you guys could have helped out, you know. Seriously. Okay, uh... They haven't broken yet. But we've got this whole squad in there. They should be fine. I'm thinking... Yeah, we fine. Get get this guy out of the way. Jesus. I, I, I can't lose you or we lose that quest. Uh, you all get in here. Uh, rest of you all squeeze forward some more. Oh, we might want to send a couple of people over to the mortars. You two. Uh, man the steel mortar. Man the steel mortar. And then we're going to make sure you don't fire. With mortars loaded up, that should allow us to uh, convince the siege to attack us. Um, come on. There we go. Another one bites the dust. What? How? How did... How did you die? Brain. Oh, wow. Assault rifle bullet. You got shot in the back. Ooh, that's uh, not a good way to go. There goes their first person. Shot by 49. The person recruited just before... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that that's, that's horrible. You just got recruited. Then it's like, oh, I'm sorry. You're dead. Okay. Yeah, they're broken. Okay, that's good. Okay, the rest of them are broken in there and are about to do some damage, but that's okay. We have an entire squad of people here ready to take care of that. Okay, everyone, uh, where are you headed? Where are they headed? Oh, seriously? Oh, yeah, that's... that's... Yeah, they're gonna go through that way and break open that door. They want to break as many doors as possible while they're here. It's just a pirate thing. Yeah, where are the... Yeah, they haven't set up yet, so we'll wait until they start to set up before we start hitting them with the mortars. Uh, you guys get in there. We want to make sure we do the maximum amount of oh my god, you're so dead type of moments to them because that's what we're sort of aiming for. Uh, go up that direction. Nope, nope, nope. Jesus, there's just too many. Try, trying to move groups this, this size is just awkward. Alright, there you go. Okay, I think... You all bunched up enough? Ooh, you guys get over there. And then I want all of you to start safe firing. Hmm. Why don't you just attack that there? Nope, 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 nope. Except for you. You will get shot in the back if you do that sort of stuff. Alright, there we go. This is what we call a meat grinder. Welcome to it. Yep, 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 yep. Well, that's what you get for just ignoring the fight. You could have just fought us straight up and died, you know, horribly. Instead, you just dragged that out and really annoyed me. All right, over here, we've got pirates. These are not part of our raid quest, so... Okay, we'll have to deal with them in a minute. I think we let everyone back to work, supposedly. Uh, no, we want to stop that guy. Otherwise, he's going to break some walls. And we have to see if any of them are left alive and we're to capture them. Damn it! We're going to end up with even more prisoners. We're going to let the majority of people go back to work. And I'm going to try and take care of this as efficiently as we possibly can. We're going to have Ortec and we're going to have one other pawn 
try and do something a little uh, brutal to it. Uh, oh, now you're going to shoot some of the fleeing ones. That's uh, that's great. Oh, God. <laughs> you know what? Destroy the door. I, I don't even care anymore. I don't even care. Okay, no, I do care. It's annoying, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, actually, let's select all these. Yeah, we'll get all those bodies hauled out of there as soon as we possibly can. But first, we're going to take care of this mess. That attack was kind of annoying because it Swiss cheesed their defenses, and we're expecting several more, so that's going to be an issue. Uh, we should probably make sure all the colonists are able to repair the stuff that needs repairing. A big sorry to Petro Massimo. That was a hell of a way to go. Shot in the back of the head by the guy who was hired just before you. Isn't that right, Mr. 49 Mobile? Yeah, there he is, sleeping away after having murdered one of his own colonists. Yeah, witnessed an ally's death. Really? Really? I wonder who's ally... <laughs> never mind, never mind. That's our first casualty. Honestly, I'm surprised we got this far. And, and this is our first casualty. It kind of seems unlike... What? Starting a social fight? Seriously, guys? Y We've had a busy day. And uh, no. Is anyone close by who can, who can arrest? Yep, there we go. Perfect. Come on, just... Perfect. That's it. Social fight broken up already. Now, Pika, Alex, you two, get over here. We've got a doomsday, invisibility, and... Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Well, this is an interesting day. The, uh... This seems to want to set up somewhere inside here. They are a siege, so they're probably going to want to set up... Oh, God, who knows? Uh, pull back, pull back. Porpoise has died? Oh, yeah, a prisoner we tried to capture. We're still trying to capture every one we can, which is um, probably not the best idea, or the most stable, but or the same, but, you know, the rules are the rules. Uh, you, what did you do? Yeah, you can undraft as well. Is there anyone left drafted who shouldn't be? This crowd just will not, you know, stop. I think... Yeah, it, it's somehow they ended up glitching out on their siege, and their siege is now on the opposite side of the wall, which is why they went the entire long way around. But I think what we're going to do is we are going to jump in a doomsday shot, and we are going to zap them right in the middle with a doomsday shot. We want to try and break them, instantly break them. We don't want to try and uh, injure them or anything. We just want to take them from... Oh, 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 no, guys, guys, don't get too close. Uh, you don't want to get too close. We don't want to spook them. We want them to be out of cover there. Pika, get forward here. No. Trying to rest someone. Come on. We're... All right. Uh, that's good. 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 And good. Invisible eyes. Jump jet. Okay. There's good. Nice. All right then. Now, where can we do the maximum, maximum, maximum amount of damage? Thinking there. That should get the rest of the clump. Now, when dealing with these things, normally when they're walking forward, they'll slowly walk into it, so we should hit about there in the group. Uh, so we want to name about... Ooh, but they are walking slowly. You know what? There is... There is about perfect. Fire there. Okay, they're winding up the shot. Alex is still within range if an invisible needs to be done. Come on, come on, come on. Fire, fire, fire. Oh! <laughs> Didn't kill all of them, but we definitely did some damage. And there's three jump jet and three rocket launchers left. Uh, what's your... Ooh, you're not really too good, too, too good. Six seconds left in that invisibility. We'll pull back. We did the damage we came to do. We're going to get out of here. Oh, guys, why has no one repaired the walls? That's uh, it's very important. We are bringing everyone back inside. We're going to put a quick block there to block that off. And we're going to repair that door there really quickly. We have two people assigned to do that out. Once that's done, these pirates should no longer attempt to go through the walls and should inst or go into our base that direction and should instead go around to our kill box. Well, that's the theory. How badly hurt are they? Pika, get out of there. Come on, jump. All right, and there goes our strike team. Perfect. You guys did some solid work there. Solid work. Inspired creativity for Katie's. Oh, she's a tortured artist. Well, that's um, wonderful. Well, this is going to be a close one, I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, Alex, get that ready right now. Come on. Come on. OK, 
Okay, perfect. Now, which one of you has the best construction skill? This is uh, sort of an emergency... Four, three? Okay, so Pika, I'm afraid this is all about you right now. You can uh, go back to your deep drill. Yep, that's fine. And at the same time... There we go. Whew. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. They have doomsdays and stuff, dude. They have doomsdays. <laughs> oh, that's, um... Yeah, that's, uh, excellent. Perfect. We, we managed to squeeze them all out. Uh, how's this door over here going? Yeah, you're building that granite door. You, you better make sure that granite door gets built in time, buddy. There's going to be a bunch of angry pirates there very shortly. Well, they are now thoroughly confused, and they are going around to the kill box the very, very, very long way around. But that is fine by me. I just... Oh, if they tangle with those before they get there, they're probably going to spend a bunch of doomsdays, and that's going to destroy a bunch of this area. If they get into my solar power because of that, I'm going to be very annoyed. Ooh. They might actually burn this down and trigger the infestation a little bit early. That would be annoying. I kind of want to keep the infestation for later oh well we'll just have to see what happens oh yeah we're about to destroy that table that means the infestation is going to happen my guess is over here of all the places this one's got the most deep mountain and uh, i'm planning for this because i sort of had a second places where no that place we already covered in ah this place over here would probably be my second and my third place bet is over here actually if it happened there that would be hilarious because that's where a bunch of the pirates are going through wait Infestation. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, what? It's actually right out in the open. Oh, God. Right. That's, uh... You know what? This saves us an awful lot of trouble. We can just close the doors and they'll go after the infestation. Come on. It's 80 hives. 80 hives. Jesus. Hurry up, hurry up, guys. <laughs> oh, excellent, excellent. Okay, you guys destroy that area. I don't, I don't really care so much. Uh, right, Jesus. Okay, so we have 86 mega spiders. How many stellipedes? 82 st I think we just lock the doors and let them deal with it. They can they can go shoot and kill each other as much as they want. We're not getting involved. We should probably clean up the place and find a place to dispose of the corpses while we're waiting, though. We're going to seal ourselves in and let whatever shows up fight the bugs. Yep, the game is definitely feeling a little bit slower. I think uh, all the pathing for those bugs is, is maybe taking its, <laughs> taking a bit of its toll. Oh, you poor guy. Yeah, I don't feel sorry for you doing slightest stuff. Uh, at the same, same time, we're having them close this door here. Uh, with that door closed. Oh, wait. There we go. Door closed. Excellent. That should seal us off from the outside world. That means they should prioritize attacking, well, the bugs. Alright. Good times. Good times. Friendlies, the Blue Empire. Okay. Um, their pods have went haywire and their landing scattered all over the area. Well, this is going to go badly for you because... <laughs> Oh, God. Um, yeah, this is not going to go well. This is not going to go well for the friendlies. New recruit? Oh, great. We got a new recruit to replace the, the last one that died. Uh, where are all these Empire troops landing? Oh, my God. You're so dead. Uh, there's a whole bunch of you that are just going to die horrifically. Please don't open the doors for our enemies to get into our base. That would be very unfortunate. And you, yeah, you're, you're, you're so dead. How about over here? Jesus. Yep, yeah, you're... Oh my god, you brought a charge lance to this. That's just the worst possible weapon you could have brought. Well, this was interesting. Um, Thanks to the Blue Empire, I suppose. Oh, I better make sure that new recruit stays inside. Checking the time. We are way, way, way over budget. We're like 40 minutes or something. Okay, uh, quest-wise, we have actually managed to get rid of one of the quests. And I think it was... Uh, get rid of this quest field. Oh, yeah, a couple of our chickens died, but we still have three females to reproduce with. Um, okay, that can go. Death of... Oh, Patricio. Sorry about that. Uh, siege. No, here it is. This one. This was Rewarded Warfare. So that first quest, the first uh, raid by the tribals, the one that tri tri triple-pronged one, 
that one was definitely part of the quest, so we've knocked that one out and it's done. Perfect. Uh, the next one was the Siege from Emily's Exes, and I'm not sure if this one is to do with that danger generator we have close by or not, but whatever. Those, those can get eaten by bugs. Uh, then we still have Royals Under Threat Quest, which is two more raids of tribals that are supposed to happen in the next 6.3 days. I mean, we're already 8.7 days in. They should have hit us already. Just, just saying. But we do have a sort of a de roaming defense force now of 82 mega spiders to help us out. And how many of these? And about 48 centipedes. I think we'll be good. We'll just let them stay outside. Unless, unless the tribals are sappers. In which case, they'll just d drill straight through the defenses and we'll have to go kill them. Let's really hope they're not sappers. Anyway, we have... Oh, and we have one more colonist for today. Please welcome Nick Chapman to the team. Our 55th colonist and our 8th one today? Yeah, that's 8 we, we fired in this episode, which is a new record. Our, our previous record was 6. Though I think recruitment's going to just slow down a bit after this. We're not going to be able to go out and uh, collect any more in the near future. Uh, 9 for crafting, 7 for intellectual. Yeah, craft. Craft science. Yeah, that's it. Good for you. Health conditions-wise, yeah, they just had a really bad day. Hmm. Never mind. I think, though... I think this could go well for us. I mean, don't get me wrong. I still feel like we're in a precarious position. The only thing between us and destruction is this one layer of wall. That's it. But I think with these as sort of a defense force for now, so long as those tribals show up in the next day or two, I'll be happy to let them live. If the tribals don't show up, though, we'll, we'll have to lure them into one of our kill areas and just sort of, you know, grenade them into oblivion. I'd prefer to keep a bunch of their corpses for putting in the fridge, for turning into chem fuel, but we may just not have the time. Uh, anyway, I am going to cut this out here. I think next episode will be all about murdering bugs and tribals. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck.